Well, it was with heavy hearts that both teams took the floor tonight here in Salt Lake with Pullman native and Utah track and field student athlete Lauren McCluskey on everyone's mind and in all of our hearts. And Kenzie Kerber of the Utah Utes came out riding in that wave of emotion as the sophomore absolutely incredible in our first couple of sets. Kenzie Kerber was so fun to watch. And one of the matchups that was amazing was to watch her against McKenna Woodford over on that right side. I mean, they just battled the entire time. She had ended up hitting 476, had 12 kills, and just so impressed with what she was able to do. Earned six blocks for her team. But that lefty on the right side, man, that is a deadly weapon. Well, and you talked about it. That battle between Kerber and Woodford was fun to watch. Yeah, this was one of the most epic battles of this match. I mean, McKenna Woodford, not just great offensively. I mean, she had 17 kills on the night, but six, excuse me, five blocks from her. So again, McKenna Woodford just stepping up in the absence of Taylor Mims. Senior getting it done there on the outside, whether it was with the swing or with the block. And then it was the 5'8 sophomore also stepping in for Taylor Mims, who proved the difference. How about Penny Tusa? Five foot eight, but she plays like she's six foot five. Coming <laughs> out of the middle, she earned so many points just being crafty, crossbody swings, taking some off speed shots. And I think one of the things I'm most impressed with is her line 15 kills one error, one error on 29 attacks, 14 digs on the night. Penny Tusa was absolutely money as her Washington State Cougars improved to 16 and 5 on the season, now 7 and 4 in Pac-12 play there at Colorado on Friday night while the youths welcome the Washington Huskies here to the Huntsman on the Pac-12 Network.